We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Fadi Shahadi, who is the CEO of ICANN. Now, ICANN is the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. Fadi, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Now, we're here at the WISIS Forum 2015. I wanted to ask you, what are your key objectives for attending this forum? to continue emphasizing the importance of the dialogue that occurs between all of us to make sure ICTs meet the needs of the world. So whilst ICANN uh, takes care of one layer, the logical infrastructure, there are so many other parts of the internet that require the attention uh, of uh, all the stakeholders, including governments, uh, to make sure we have policies that increase access, and make sure the internet is a trusted environment with high integrity. And that still needs work. So while we made great progress in the WISIS process, we still have work to do. What do you hope that the WISIS Plus 10 review will achieve? That it will maintain that dialogue between all those countries, all those stakeholders, for a while still, because we're not done. We made progress, but there are areas and issues that require a lot of attention. I also hope that the WISIS process will renew the mandate of the Internet Governance Forum, a forum that has served its purpose, in fact, quite brilliantly. Some people may say the IGF doesn't make decisions. It is simply a place to dialogue. But dialogue is the foundation before we can move forward with some solutions. And therefore, the IGF serves a very important purpose, and I hope that the WISIS Plus 10 process agrees to renew the mandate of the IGF. Now, for people who have been uh, following the internet and, and its developments quite closely, I'm sure they'll be very interested in my next question. Can you briefly update us on the IANA stewardship transition? So, IANA are the core functions ICANN administers and coordinates. Those functions, since their inception, have been with ICANN, but with some oversight from the US government. We have come to the point where the US government announced it is ready to sunset its unique oversight and allow the world, the global community, to have oversight over our affairs. We believe that's a very, very good uh, milestone. Uh, the uh, remaining uh, activity around the transition includes the following two key steps. The first is for the community to finish the proposal that the US government has asked us for, a proposal that describes how the U.S. government's role will be replaced. That proposal is proceeding well. Hundreds of meetings around the world, exactly 252 to date, uh, with thousands of people involved. And I'm confident that by the end of this year, at the very latest, that proposal should be ready. I think we have taken enough time, and the community has worked very hard to deliver that proposal to the U.S. government uh, by the end of this year, hopefully by the ICANN meeting in Dublin in October, if not by the end of the year. Once the U.S. government receives the proposal, it needs its time to assess it, to review it, uh, for proper hearings to occur and everyone to have a say. We estimate that that process will probably take another two to three months. So that's where we stand today. And so you're confident that this process is going to, to work well and it's going to be well received? Indeed I am. Indeed, I am, uh, for several reasons, one of which is that the real test of that process would ha w has passed already, which is, will the community, indeed, on a global level, governments, private sector, technical people, academics, civil society, come together and work towards a common proposal? The answer is yes, because the four components of the proposal have now been built in their first draft, and now we're working to refine them and finish them. So that was, frankly, the biggest milestone to finish, and it's behind us. So they're not going to be doing it in a vacuum, so to speak. They're going to be doing it in a structured and, uh, and guided way. Very much so. Transparent, open, participatory, inclusive. We've spent millions of dollars helping people attend these meetings so that everyone has a voice in them. And therefore, the product, the finished product, will be, in my opinion, uh, a very impressive outcome of a truly open multi-stakeholder approach uh, to uh, making what ICANN does truly neutral and independent and at the service of the public interest. Fadi Shahadi, thank you very much indeed. And we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you. Thank you.